Okay, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jackie Slater, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about adult acne. How many of you in the audience still find yourself getting spots? Just put your hands up if you still get spots. It's not fair, is it? I think we, get, we go through those teenage years, and we reach our 20s, that watershed, and we think, right, that's it, no more. But actually, that's not the case. And for some in their 20s, their skin problems are only just beginning. If you yourselves, if you're over the age of 20, and some of you may well be into your 30s and 40s, are still getting breakouts, then you can bet your life a lot of your clients are as well. And I hear all the time, certainly clients of mine and other you know, friends and family that are saying to me, you know, I'm 40 years old and I'm still getting spots. What's happening? Do any of you experience that with your clients or, or indeed with yourselves? Yeah. So what's that all about? What, why is that happening? What's happening to our skin when we reach that age? Why are we still getting those breakouts? So over the next half an hour or so, I'm going to try and answer some of those questions. And we're going to delve a little bit into what's happening with that skin and how we can offer some solutions and some advice to our clients. Now, as I said, my name's Jackie Slater. I'm here today representing the International Dermal Institute. The International Dermal Institute, I'm absolutely thrilled to tell you, actually won an award last night. We won the professional beauty award um, best training center for this year which is fabulous news the international dermal institute is a postgraduate training center one of 40 uh, all over the world we've had experience in it for about 25 years in educating therapists both skin and body in a very wide curriculum so postgraduate training covering anything from knowing the skin, advanced skin classes, to uh, uh, holistic therapy or complementary therapies. We've got, we provide a platform for very many guest lecturers, uh, highlighted in our 2009 calendar. In your packs you've got on your, on your chairs, we've got a calendar, our latest calendar there for you to have a look at, to see whether there's anything that you feel you need to get on board with or come and uh, revise or look at your skills, have a look and see what you're missing maybe in your business and you might want to come and learn about. So we offer postgraduate training for qualified therapists. As I say, highlighted in 2009 calendar, we've got uh, Phil Nuttridge who's going to talk about acupressure, Chinese acupressure. We've got women's health issues. Dr. Marilyn Glenville comes and talks about nutrition around that. We've got Jane Sheehan who does foot reading. There's a very wide range of therapies there. So come and have a look. Come and see how later on today actually I'm going to talk to you about how you can contact us and get on board and come and join us. And I'll talk a little bit more about how you can come along and get a free class. The nearest postgraduate centre to here is actually in Leatherhead, Surrey. So have you ever had days where you feel like this? where you just don't want to face the world because you've got that breakout at the end of your nose. How many of you have actually cancelled a date or don't feel like going to work because you've got that spot on your face? I think you'd be staggered to know what the statistics are for people still suffering from acne, even in those later years. So a few statistics here, what's going on? So you can see there 17 million people in the UK are suffering with acne. And a great deal of those are people between 25 and 45, there's a huge percentage that still get persistent low grade acne. And the acne is a little bit different in an adult and it tends to hang around a lot. 54% of women 25 years and over are still suffering with acne. Now those statistics have come about from, from doctors and dermatologists, but if you think about all the people that don't visit doctors and dermatologists, 
that statistic's probably a lot higher. And I think we as skin therapists deal with a lot of clients that are suffering with acne, that persistent acne condition. And not only are we a port of call for those clients or people that are, are really wanting to tackle it, remember that there's an awful lot of our clients that will just go to seek help from over-the-counter medications or uh, remedies that you can get in a chemist. There's an awful lot of people out there struggling with this condition. So, what's the difference then between adult and teen acne? And, and is there a difference? And do our clients that have that adult acne know how to deal with it? I think most of us as adults, when we get spots or we get those breakouts, we tend to reach for what maybe is in the bathroom cabinet, what we may have seen advertised on television, which might not actually suit our skins because our skins change. As we get older, obviously, our skins are not functioning the same as they were when we were a teenager. And this can be a huge problem for our more mature clients, as it were, because they're possibly not treating their acne or their breakout correctly. So the differences then between an adult and a teen skin when they're suffering with acne are quite a few. An, an adult acne condition tends to be more inflammatory. The skin is a little bit more sensitized or sensitive. It takes longer to heal. You'll find that in adult acne, there's less comedones or blackheads and very often less oiliness. It's not the same as that teenage acne condition. The location of the breakout is different also. If you think about your teenage skin, when they suffer with acne, it tends to be all over the skin, doesn't it? Lots on the forehead, across the cheeks, very shiny skin. It's located pretty generally around the face, sometimes onto the chest, sometimes onto the back. An adult suffering with acne tends to have more breakout located around the mouth area, the chin, around these jawline, around the jawline and down onto the neck. So looking at where that acne is located is really important. But the key really is, is talking to the client about their triggers. We know the common trigger to acne, especially in women, is, is hormonal. And also in our teenagers, it's that influx of testosterone which causes that acne condition. But the consultation stage when somebody comes into you complaining of this is absolutely crucial. So trying to discover what's going on with that particular client, what it is that they're using at home, what could be triggering their particular condition. Now, the primary aggravating factor for adult acne is in fact chronic stress. How many of you, when you're in a stressful situation or have suffered long-term stress, have a showing of break a breakout or you get spots as a result of being stressed? Does, does anybody find that that happens to them? A few heads nodding. And generally, where does that acne come or form? Jawline, yeah. Very commonly, again, stress acne is located around this area here, around the jawline, and sometimes down onto the neck. So what happens when we're stressed is that our adrenal glands are stimulated, and our adrenal glands produce several hormones, but the one that then causes the acne to break out is our testosterone. So testosterone is produced, and then that stimulates our sebaceous gland or our oil gland to produce more oil, and we can then get that breakout as a result of that. So there's a lot of stress in very many people's lives at the moment. So don't be surprised if you're seeing more of your clients come in complaining of those breakouts in those key areas. And they just don't know what to do about it. They don't know what they should be using. Maybe the remedies that they've tried before are not working. That acne can tend to be pretty stubborn. <laughs> 